Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Register's Video Game Rhetoric. My name is Michael Register, and I'm going to be your host tonight as we get into episode 5 in our 10-part series on issues in contemporary video gaming. Today's episode, that terrible three-letter word, downloadable content. I want to tell you exactly kind of where DLC started having issues, then two specific examples in today's world of where DLC is hurting gamers, and finally a quick story from one of the executives who shares why video games and DLC is a dangerous combination. So the first thing is, where did DLC really start having issues? Where, where was the big issue that started it all? Well, that comes from 15 years ago with the Xbox 360 when it released The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. The game was beautiful. It was a huge open world game, and you could walk from place to place, but the real thing you wanted to do is you wanted to ride your horse. The problem was is that your horse would die in three hits. So the company released a little bit of downloadable content for $1.50 called Horse Armor, and it was just like it sounds, armor for your horse. I, like many millions of people, paid $1.50, put the beautiful armor on my horse, and I remember galloping into the countryside and crossing that stream, and then some fish would hit me three times and my horse would die. And like many people, I just said, what the hell? I just paid $1.50 for this armor, and it didn't do a damn thing. Anyone? Anyone? Well, the thing is, is that the company heard and released a statement saying, well, um, it was actually just an aesthetic item. It was, uh, you know, something uh, just for looks. The problem is, is that they didn't tell you that. And that really started this epidemic of people saying, look, if you're going to give us this downloadable content, you've got to tell us what we're getting. You've got to tell us if it makes a difference just for looks or anything else. You've got to tell us. Now, two specific examples that I want to get into today deal with games in the marketplace today and how DLC is hurting. First is Call of Duty and competitive multiplayer or Battlefield. Whenever they sell a map pack for about $10, they try and give you a reason to buy it by including a, a special gun. The problem is, is that when Call of Duty Ghosts included this gun called the Ripper, the gun was unlike any other gun in the game. It had the ability in the battlefield on the fly to switch from a long range assault rifle to a submachine gun. It would change its statistics, its firing rate. The problem is, is that by including that gun, it changed the very nature of what the game was. It was no more, everyone pays $60 and plays. It was no more pay to play. Instead, it was pay to win. If you pay 10 extra dollars, if you have more money than someone else and you want to pay this money, you will then get a competitive edge in the video game. And people hated that. And they've continued to do that. It's become a major area where people in video games get upset. They say, hey, look, I don't want to have to pay money just to be better than someone. I want the game to give the option of who's better by the guns included. Not if you pay more money, you can have a competitive edge. Now, I know some of you are saying, but Mike, I don't play, you know, these multiplayer games. I only play single player. Well, it affects you, too. For example, some of the later releases like Street Fighter last year and Mortal Kombat earlier this year have said that, hey, you know what, after $60 and you buying our game, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, release five characters for only $5. And people were like, hey, that's not a bad deal, that's cool. The problem is, is that modders have found that the characters that you were, quote, downloading, they were actually already on the disc. The files were physically on the disc that you had already bought. All you were doing was unlocking them. So literally, think about this. You went to the store, picked up a copy of your game. The files were all on your disc. You were just paying to unlock the thing that you had already bought. Think about that. That was something that people got up in arms over and said, What the heck? Like, you can't tell me that by buying this product that you're going to have hidden files that I'm really not even downloading. You're just unlocking. And that has happened here and there through single-player games. But even the executives understand that DLC is a dangerous thing to get into. One executive, I'll never forget this story, he was talking to someone about why DLC was bad, and he stated, he goes, look, 
Jurassic Park, the first one. Remember when they're talking about the velociraptors and the reporter was like, yeah, kind of. He didn't know where it was going. But he said, look, he goes, he's talking about when the feeders come to the fence, the velociraptors were attacking the fence. And the other guy goes, well, weren't the fences electrified? And he says, yes. But he goes, what they were doing is they were testing it systematically for weaknesses. And then he says, and they remember. He goes on to say, companies are like those velociraptors. They are continuously attacking the fence of the consumer and looking for any systematic weakness in what we might not know, what we might not care about, and what we might not really want to get up in arms about. And DLC is one of those things. They're always trying to test the fences of how much we're willing to let them get away with. Really, like I stated in my previous podcast, the best gamer is an educated gamer. All I want you to do is to know what you're getting into, what company you're buying from, what their history with downloadable content is, and what effect it might have on your game, competitive multiplayer or even single player. The point is, is that when you know, you know. But you have to know. So hopefully you can look for it and look to find what DLC you're getting yourself into and what you're supporting because as a consumer, your money is the final word. That's it for today's podcast. Next week we'll be going over one of my favorite subjects in video game issues, beating hookers in Grand Theft Auto V. Always a hot topic, always extremely interesting. So remember, registers video game rhetoric. Will you be here next week? And yes, that was a rhetorical question. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in.